Hey guys, I'm going to tell you a little something about flyers. The biggest problem what everybody has, if you do have a problem, is your biceps, which are attached to the shoulder, or your shoulder muscles in general. And bringing it from the top to the bottom is extremely heavy on those, uh, on those bats. So there's another one. I'm going to drop this weight so I can show you something. The best movement for a chest in general is pretty much the stretch, but not overstretch. If you overstretch, you only implement your shoulders and not your, your chest. So that is a stretch. That is a full stretch of the chest, and that's fine. But the best thing is, and what you cannot do with benching or with uh, conventional, uh, well, actually, you can, but uh, it's not as effective as this. But uh, contraction is actually of a depth, okay? Unless you look like Marcus Rule and your breast, your chest is over here, and, uh, well, let's say ramming, okay, and your chest over here, this is contraction. But for me, full contraction is over here, that's when it's harder. So what you can do, first of all, before you bring that weight, you can make, make it even heavier for yourself. Just bring it down, okay, with both hands, and that's full stretch, okay? Contraction. You see how I go over the chest? I'm over here, I'm not over here, as I would with um, dumbbells, but I'm actually over the chest which makes me actually utilize everything. And if you can feel here, yeah, it's extremely hard, hard, hard. So I use the entire chest, which is actually very, very effective. I can do this exercise between the workout, or at the end of the workout, or actually between, because I like to do pullovers after. But um, a very good tip. If you guys do have problems with your shoulders, or your bicep band, and you can't bring it down, Try doing it with one hand. Easy as hell, okay? Thanks guys. Cheers.